preserving your going in and coming in. Can you thank him for journey mercies at all times? But then let lift up our voices and talk to the Almighty God. Let's reference his holy name. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify him. Oh, my river took a shake to him, mama. Zabalema te gazuka le brando kasinta. Ibale mama kaka gazika la brando kasanta lea. Daddy we say thank you. Lord, we are worship you, Lord. We appreciate you. Daddy, you are our God forever. We serve you. Forever we love you, oh God. <laughs> Lord, we say thank you for your mercy. Lord, we say thank you for your loving kindness. Lord, we say thank you for the opportunity of coming before you, oh God. Lord, I said our thanks, oh God. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worship. I told somebody to say a better amen. I want you to lift up your two hands and pray just like those that were in first and the second service and cry loud and clear to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father. you can do better. Say, Father, Father. Uh, this year is going to an end. Oh God, my Father, let me not know evil. Let me not see evil. I am my entire household. I am my entire loved ones, wherever they may be. Oh God of heaven, let us not know evil. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Brethren, then pray to God from the bottom of your heart that you will not know evil, you will not see evil. You will not know evil, you will not see evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, calamity will not come your dwelling, plagues will not come your dwelling, no tragedy will befall you, no evil will befall you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my riba to Gazan, Charlie, Mama, Kassan, Tale, Broma, Kassika, La Boca, Teka, Shentelia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and clap. Say, Father, before this year be over, let my joy be full. Do those things that will make my joy to be full. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? If that's your heart desire, if you want to cross over with joy, cry to God this morning that the Lord will do things that will make your joy to be full. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my riba baka son talimama. Lembrondo koto gazi kalema shen talia. That it cause our joy to be full. Lord, cause our joy to be full. Almighty God, cause our joy to be full. <laughs> Before the year be over, let our joy be full. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Gracious and everlasting Father, we want to say thank you. 
Faithful God, we appreciate you that we are alive today. It's not by power, it's not by mind. Lord, it's by your mercy and grace. Thank you for being gracious unto all. Thank you for preserving our life. Thank you for preserving our going out and our coming in. Thank you for joining mercy at all times. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your ceaseless blessing. Thank you for defending and fighting our battle. Thank you for all around victory. Lord, accept our chance in the name of Jesus. That they will lift up our voices unto you and we cry unto you. That Lord, it doesn't matter the evil remaining this year. Lord, take them far away from us in the name of Jesus. As for us and our household, we will not weep, we will not mourn, we will not sorrow in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I commit every one of your children, including myself, that that will cause our joy to be full even before this year be ended. Lord, do it in our life in the name of Jesus. No family in this parish shall cross over in sorrow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. As we go into your word, that you speak to us, hear our cry, and do that which only you can do. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I thought your email will be louder than everybody. Amen. Jam those hands together for the Almighty God and let's be seated as kings and queens in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. We want to remind us one more time that tomorrow morning we continue with our good morning, Holy Spirit. And the topic tomorrow morning is let the fire burn. Come with your oil and come with expectation and you don't go back disappointed and let us not forget that the congress is at the corner the team is the siege is over 13th 6th to 10th of November and we are encouraged to advertise and invite our friends, our colleagues, our neighbors and as you do so the Lord will bless you in Jesus name and let us not forget that next Sunday will be the grand finale of the family weekend and you will hear the activities for the weekend before the close of the service. This morning we are looking at the topic, Remember Me and Visit Me. What is the topic? Remember Me and Visit Me. And I know there is somebody here who God will remember. Who is that fellow? The Lord will surely remember you. I said the Lord will surely remember you. I will only read Psalm 106 verses 4 and 5. Only verses 4 and 5. He said, Remember me, O Lord, with favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. Why? Verse 5. That I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. I am praying for somebody, your joy will surely be full. You will surely possess your possession. This is our month of divine visitation. And just like David, there came a time in the life of David, his heart cry was, Oh Lord, remember me and visit me. Oh Lord, what? Remember me and visit me. Why? He felt forgotten. Why? He was facing challenges and situations that are unpleasant. And whenever things like this happen, these are usually the cry of those concerned. And that's why I know that the Almighty God will hear your cry. He will roll away your reproach. If you are that will say a better amen. The question and what we want to look at at this section of the service is who does God remember and visit? Who? Who are the people that God remember and visit? Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. If you read Exodus chapter 2 verses 23 and 25 the Bible says, and it came to pass in the process of time 
that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage and they cried and their cry came up unto God by the reason of the bondage and God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and with Jacob and God looked upon the children of Israel and God had respect unto them. Brethren, many a time we are faced with situations, with challenges, with problems, with trouble, with pains, with sorrow that even we cannot explain. And so we are in desperate need of divine intervention. And because we are in desperate need for divine intervention, we pray all manners of prayer. We groan in the presence of God. And one thing about our God is he had assured that when we call upon him, he will answer. I pray for somebody here, your prayer will never go into voicemail again. Anytime you cry to God, God will answer you. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. I say if you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. So, if you want to know those that God will remember, and visit then you look at the life of the children of Israel you look at the situation that made David to pray the prayer that he prayed one thing I know is that just like David your own too will be answered so who are those that will say Lord remember me and visit me number one those who are not satisfied with their situation those who look at themselves and they discover they are not where they ought to be. Praise the Lord. It is possible you look at your life after serious assessment and examination. You tell yourself, no, this is not where I'm supposed to be by now. You look at your mate. You say to yourself, no, I am not supposed to be here. This is where I am supposed to be. Praise the Lord. When you made that discovery, then your cry will be, Lord, remember me and visit me. I don't know who is listening to me that is not satisfied with the situation. You are not satisfied with what is going on in your life. Can I pray for you, sir? God will remember you and visit you. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Because if you look at that Exodus chapter 2, Verse 23 to 25. The children of Israel, the Bible says, after Joseph died, when Joseph was alive, the children of Israel were treated as king. The children of Israel were respected. The children of Israel were in Goshen, the best part of the land. The children of Israel had all they wanted at their bed and call because their brother was their prime minister. Before the death of Joseph, you dare not touch a Hebrew in Egypt. They were enjoying favor. Everything was, they were the one in charge. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And suddenly the Bible says, Joseph died. And there arose a king that does not know Joseph. And he subjected them to captivity. He subjected them to bondage. And so, when they discover, no, this is not how our life used to be. Maybe you are listening to me this morning. You discover that this is not where you used to be. This is not how your business used to be. This is not how your finances used to be. This is not how your marriage used to be. And you are not satisfied. Then you can lift up your voice to God and say, Lord, remember me and visit me. Can I pray for only one person? If the picture I am painting have a resemblance to your situation, I decree God will remember you and visit you. Yeah. Who are those who will say, Lord, remember me and visit me? Number two, those who will not give up. Those who will not do what? Give up. While we're praying the second service, I reminded the people that some years ago, one of our members here came to me 
and was crying, practically crying. This particular month of November was what it was that year. He said, sir, from January till now, nothing has happened in my business. It's like I am begging. I am eating from hand to mouth. Is this how I will end this year? And we pray the simple prayers. Praise the Lord. And the good news was that before that year ended, between that November and 31st of December, God turned his situation around that even that same year, he ended up buying a car. Can I pray for somebody, sir? In that name that is above every other name, it is often said that it is not over yet until it is over. I decree before the end of this year, God Almighty will remember you and visit you. But you must not give up. You must not do what? Never give up on God. Because our God is able. He's able to do whatever you are asking for. He said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Maybe you may be one of them who already is hopeless, who already is saying, This year is over. Who is like Peter in the book of Luke chapter 5? You're already washing your net. You're already washing your net and nothing good can happen again. I have good news for you. God will remember you and visit you. I say God will remember you and visit you. If you will not give up on God, God will not give up on you. This is the month of visitation. Just like David you can also tell God, Lord, remember me and visit me. Who are those that can tell God, remember me and visit me? Number three, those who we ask. Those who do what? Hello? Those who do what? Why? Matthew 7, 7. What did he say? Ask and you shall be given. Ask and you shall be given. David asked for visitation. David asked for remembrance. And God remembered him. And the Lord visited him. Any one of you asking God for remembrance, asking God for visitation, God will answer you. Only one person said, Amen. I say, God will answer you. This same God answered Rachel. In Genesis 30, verse 22, the Bible says, And God remember Rachel, and God hacking to her, and God opened her womb. God hacking to her. In other words, God heard her cry. And if you read that Exodus chapter 2, you will discover in verse 24, the Bible says, And God heard their groaning. That is why the Bible says, You should ask, Till your joy be full. Till your joy be what? Full. And now I'm praying for somebody as you ask here today, God will answer you. Who are those who will say, Lord, remember me and visit me? Number four, those that can worship God. Thank God that the video praise is at the corner. Brethren, no matter what is happening around you, remember the book of Habakkuk, the, the vine might not bring forth wine. But you can see worship. You can see praise God. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Hannah wanted remembrance. Hannah wanted a visitation. After she had prayed. And the servant of God spoke into her situation. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 19. That he rose up in the morning early. And worshipped before the Lord. She did what? She worshipped before the Lord. God is always looking for worshippers. Don't allow your problem to consume you. Don't allow your trouble to consume you. Be a true worshipper and you will see God's divine visitation. Don't give up on God. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Who are those that can say Lord Remember me and visit me. Number five. Those who belongs to him. Those who do what? Belongs to God. 
Brethren, are you a child of God? Like I told us in the second service, if you are a child of God and you are asking for visitation, I can assure you it will be a pleasant visit. But if you are not a child of God and you are asking God to visit you, you are only asking for judgment. Because God will only visit judgment upon his enemy. But he visits his children for gladness, for rejoicing, for breakthrough, for possessing their possession, for their healing. And now I'm praying for you. He will visit you. The question is, are you a child of God? Is your identity sure? If your identity is not sure, then you cannot ask God to remember you and visit you. But I pray for you today that God will have mercy. I say God will have mercy. I say God will have mercy. If you are that fellow, say a louder amen. I say, if you are that fellow, say a louder amen. Praise the Lord. If you read Isaiah 44, verse 24, he said, Thus hear the Lord, thy Redeemer. Thy who? Huh? He's only a Redeemer to those that have been redeemed. He says, And he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things. I am the Lord that does what? Make it all things that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spread it abroad the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of liars, praise the Lord, and make it divine as mad, that turn a wise man backward, and make it their knowledge foolish, that confirmed the word of his servant, and performed the counsel of his messenger, that said to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the city of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decay places thereof. What are we saying? If you are a child of God, the one that redeemed you, the one that formed you, whatever the enemy are doing against you, he can frustrate them. Can I pray for only one person? Stand on your feet. I want to pray for only one person. And I know that fellow is you. Who is that fellow? Can you stretch out your hand to the other? Everything the enemy are doing against you. Because you have been redeemed by the law. Let God frustrate them. In the name of Jesus. As you are about entry into this week. Whatever anyone has planned anywhere against you. In that name that is above every other name. God himself will paralyze them in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. You can please be seated. The question is, if God remember me, what will happen to me? If I cry to God, Lord, remember me and visit me and God hear you, what should be your expectation? Praise the Lord. Expectation number one, when God remember you and visit you, is that your desires are automatically met. Your what? Don't forget, you have an expectation while you are saying, Lord, visit me. Lord, remember me. If God must remember you and visit you, that your heart desire must be met. I am praying for you, whatever your heart desire, God will meet them all. Number two, your enemy will be ashamed. Your enemies and your mockers will become ashamed. I don't know who is here. Your enemy have turned you to a laughing stock. They mock you by your situation. They laugh at you by your condition. In that name that is above every other name, God will remember you and visit you. And your enemy will be ashamed. If you don't believe me, Go and ask Hannah. Ask Hannah. Penina was mocking her. Penina was making jest of her. Praise the Lord. By the time 
you get to first Samuel chapter 2 and you listen to testimony of Hannah you discover that her mocker Penina was ashamed because what she thought was impossible in her life God made it possible can I pray for only one person all those that be mocking you one after the other God will put them to shame because this is your mode of visitation and God is about to remember you God is about to remember you and visit you and all your enemies shall be put to shame if you are saying amen say it loud and clear of course number three when God remember you and visit you not only will your enemy be put to shame sir man you will win the battle I say you win the what the reason why you might be where you are today is because you are fighting one battle or the other but when God remember you and visit you your victory is assured and that's why I can pray for you sir whatever the battle you are fighting God will give you victory in your marriage God will give you victory in your business God will give you victory in your career God will give you victory over your children God will give you victory in your working place God will give you victory if you are able to say a louder amen what will happen when God remember you and visit you number four and the last one so that we can pray you'll be fully restored you'll be what there will be total restoration I don't know who is listening to me here this morning that desire restoration there is something vital to your life there is something important in your life that you have lost God will remember you and visit you I say God will remember you and visit you and he will bring restoration because in the book of Genesis chapter 8 verse 1 when God remembered Noah God restored Noah Noah was living on top of water for 40 days and 40 nights but the Bible says, and God remember Noah and all the living things. And of course, the Bible says, and he caused a wind to blow. And of course, the water began to assuage until there was total dryness. And Noah and all the living things were restored back on earth. I am praying for you. It's your season of restoration. So when you are saying, Lord, remember me and visit me, restoration is on your way. Shall we rise? Shall we rise? Who is going to be the first to be restored? Hello? I said, who is going to be the first to be restored? I am praying for you, sir. Every area of your life that you need restoration, get ready. I say, get ready. For some of you, before the end of this week, it will happen. I say, for some of you, before the end of this week, it will happen. Don't forget that this was the same way Hannah came to a program and it happened by the time she got home by the time she got back home the bible said god remembered her can i pray for you by the time you get back home this afternoon at the order of hannah god will remember you but before we pray i don't know who among us that is yet to belong to christ don't forget, I told us earlier who are those that can cry Lord, remember me and visit me and I said you must belong to God. You must be redeemed of the Lord. Either you like it or not, if you fail to be redeemed by the Lord, you are seeing the hand of the enemy. But the day you step out and say, Lord, I am your own. Lord, I belong to you from that day. God will cause the enemy to leave you alone and he will remember you and visit you. All eyes closed. If you want him to remember you and visit you and you want to belong to him, you want to repent of your situation, you want to come to God so that he can save you. You are the only one to wave your right hand and I pray with you. Wherever you are, just lift up that right hand and I pray with you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Another fellow. Another person. 
another person. Don't allow this moment to pass you by. Don't allow this moment to pass you by. There is a reason why God brought you here. Take it or leave it. God knows you. He knows everything about you. There's nothing about you that he doesn't know. So if you want to come to him now, take that bold step and walk to the altar because he wants to remember you. He wants to change your situation. Thank you, mighty father. If you are sure of your salvation, if you know you belong to him, can you stretch out your hand to the altar and pray for our beloved brother that is standing at the altar. But if you cannot pray for him because you know you do not belong to him or you are backslidden, you come out now so that everybody can pray for you and you obtain mercy. Stretch out your hand, pray for our beloved brother. Add the law that have shown him love today to uphold him to the end. Remove his name from the book of death and destruction. Rewrite his name in the book of life so that from today he's fully restored as a child of God. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. If you are not yet a child of God, come and join him now so that we can pray for you also. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Mighty and everlasting Father, I want to thank you for the life of your son. Daddy, you know him very well. You have a plan and purpose for him. And that is why today, oh God, you have singled him out for salvation. Daddy, blot out all his iniquity. Blot out all his transgression. From today, give him a new beginning. Remember him and visit him. And at your returning, let him reign with you. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Beloved, the Bible says there is rejoicing in heaven for a single soul that is saved. Can we jam those hands together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Sir, kindly follow my brother one minute and you will return back to join us. Is that all you can do? If you know you are saved, put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Now lift up your two hands and you pray only one prayer point and then we close the service. And what is your prayer point? Your prayer point is the prayer that David prayed. The same prayer Jeremiah also prayed. You are going to say, Father, Father. I believe you can do better than that. Don't forget that he will hear you. Don't forget that when you ask, he will answer. Say, Father, Father. before the end of this year, remember me and visit me. Let my desire be man. Let my enemy be put to shame. All my mockers, let them be put to shame. Let there be total restoration in my life. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? That there will be total restoration. All that you have lost, all your mockers will be put to shame. Your desires will be met. Go ahead, cry to the Almighty God. Cry to the Almighty God. Cry to the Almighty God. Let the name of God be glorified in your life, in your life, in your life. When the Lord remember you and visit you, your story will change. Cry to him now. Say, Lord, like David, hear my cry. Answer my prayer. Remember me and visit me. Visit my finances. Visit my ministry. Visit your church. Visit my health. Visit my marriage. Visit my children. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Add the Lord to visit every area of your life. Let every area of your life receive a divine visitation. A divine visitation. My super labrada. Let God remember you, my Satala. Tell him, Lord, I am your own. Oh, I am your own. I belong to you. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. I am not satisfied with my situation. I am not satisfied with my condition. I am not satisfied with my predicament. Lord, hear my cry. Talk to the Almighty God. Paribo toga santa mama. Zolobosca le. Rabla de gatu gabashe tele mama. Rablo gazika le mama kasanta li. Thank you, my dear Father. In Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Can you stretch out those hands to the other? Because you have cried to God to remember you and visit you. Even before the end of this week, let the answer come in the name of Jesus. Let God remember you, visit you, and grant all your heart desire. 
all your mockers, all those that are making jest of you, <laughs> let God put them to shame in the name of Jesus. Receive victory in that battle in the name of Jesus. I say receive victory in that battle in the name of Jesus. Experience total restoration now. I say total restoration now. Let God restore back your glory. Restore back abundance. Restore back peace. Restore back joy. Restore back promotion. In the name of Jesus. Let God restore your revival. I said, let God restore your revival. Let God himself set you on fire. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful, let me want to go.